Well, hello to all my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in to today's awesome vlog video. If you're curious on what I'm doing today in my room, well, I want to say I do apologize. I've been lacking on some of my videos lately, and I've just been losing some focus on my channel, basically. I am just so on out and everything else. But today's vlog is going to be talking about antennas and why do you need them for your FM style radios. Basically say goodbye to my old antenna system I used to use on my vintage stereo equipment. Okay, here's the bow style antenna. Here's the box I kind of made and here's the cable as well. Basically what I've been doing lately is I've been busy working on a much newer antenna, amplified antenna, and a newer indoor style antenna. Basically you guys and girls seen this uh, system before, but what did I do a little differently? Well, you can kind of see what's over there. I have a wire attached to a cable jack, and I have the amplifier inside my closet, and the antenna is on my bookshelf. But let's go ahead and show you what I've been up to. And I do apologize, I've just been super busy here at home. Okay? Let's have some fun. can use whatever antenna you choose to use for your FM radio style vintage equipment if you choose but this is the antenna I am using I placed it right there next to the window a little bit and also if you kind of pan over here a bit you can kind of see a cable coming out of my wall basically that's going to get a jack and we're going to have that looking nice and neat as well but the one thing is inside this closet i want to show you but sorry about the mess a little bit it's not quite neat and organized but there's one thing i do want to show you is the amplifier itself gotta open up the doors themselves for you guys and girls can take a look on what i've been up to see right up there there's the amplifier, right there. We have PAL, you have the line output and the line input as well. For the antenna to work proper with my stereo system. And I've been doing a lot of figuring out what's the best antenna to use for which style vintage unit. Let's go ahead and kind of show you. Pay me a bit more over this way. Okay. We have a cable jack coming out of my wall over here with the antenna out going into my radio. See? That's the BCN connector. And no more of the bow style antenna. That's awesome. And the equipment itself. Look how strong the meter is on that. That's pretty damn good. There's the antenna itself. Does it play very good? Absolutely. Let's go ahead and turn it on and can you show you? Sounds not too bad. For old school radio. That's awesome. Now you're gonna say, Chris, why are you not using your homemade antenna anymore instead of using the own antenna? Well, I'm gonna kind of explain uh, for a couple of reasons here. This is considered a bow tight antenna. It's a old school antenna it used to be for TVs and stuff. But the one thing is, is everything's different. 
you can get a lot better antennas than does this coat hanger style wire antenna. Any antenna will work for FM. And basically this box is something I made a while back to mount my antenna to basically. You can see all this cabling right here. These guys basically go to ghetto. And I will show you more of this on how I had everything hooked up basically. But I took it all down, but you know, you've seen this before on my channel. And you can use whatever you decide to use. Copper wire, stranded wire, solid wire, a good outdoor antenna would also work as well. But this here is a non-connector. It's just a BCN style system. I used to connect this wire to this box and this to my radio, basically getting some good signals uh, with it. But not all my stations came in crystal clear. But with that antenna and with the amplifier, it's a little bit better. A lot better, actually. Because remember, I live in a brick house. But I'm not spending the thousands and thousands of dollars on the outside antenna, basically. You just work what you got, basically. You work what you have. Oh, well, I'm getting rid of this? No, I'm gonna keep it, in case if I decide to change it back. If not, I keep using my own antenna. Looks good. Chris, how did you wire the amplifier in your closet? It is three things you need to understand about cable amplifiers. You have your 12 volt power, your output line, your input line, basically this stuff right here. You know, this RG6 wire. This is what I basically used to run power to the amplifier and also the output and the input line as well. But how are you getting power to the amplifier when you only have a light inside your closet. Well, basically I took in the power adapter and this, ran it along my baseboard, drilled a hole through and straight into my closet to actual power it that way. And let's go ahead and show you the actual power book itself. It's basically over here. It's kind of dark. But I will shine some light into over here for you guys can see it. Right over here is where everything gets powered. Alright. That is my surge protector and that is the power brook. If you can kind of see, that's the cable I used. And from that goes along this way you can kind of see it over here and into my closet to basically powering the amplifier inside my closet but I did a pretty good job I tacked it all up nice and neat and basically made it look nice as well but that's how i kind of wired it uh basically simple why are you discontinuing using your homemade antenna and everything else with a store-bought uh, antenna well well let me kind of explain a little bit basically this is a store-bought antenna as well i had it a very long time ago but most of this here, I made myself, this little Kubota box, and this wire here I didn't make myself. This was actual uh, store-bought as well. But let me show you a little bit more about this antenna. Okay, this is a bow tie antenna. So you have some plugs on the end of here before I can take it down for maintenance. But I'm not going to have this up anymore. 
and we basically have the same thing going with the box itself. Okay, this will get basically somewhat attached to my wall, basically like this. And this will plug into this right here. And this will get Velcro to my window. And I just don't like cables all over the place, basically. And after that, I will run this from this box to the radio itself. But this is a pretty long cord, actually. This basically is plugging here. Nothing special to it, right? But does it work? Yes, it works. I tried it. And I don't much mind using a different antenna. It was time to upgrade from my homemade system to a much better antenna and amplified antenna as well. But you're going to say, Chris, you have your iPhone, you can listen to your music. Yeah, that's true. But I like listening to my FM radios. Let me kind of explain to all my fans on why I did all of this work. I wanted a shielded cable and shielded antenna wiring for my FM stereo equipment. You gotta say, Chris, you could have just kept using your original antenna. Well, yes, I could have, but remember, it's not shielded at all. It picks up a lot of stack and a lot of noise from basically anything, from electrical noise to anything from outside to inside but yes you want to have very good stations for your FM radio now do I listen to the AM radio no I don't need to the FM is perfectly fine for me because I enjoy listening to the FM radio more than the AM but you can use whatever type of antenna you Want. But let's go ahead and show you why I did all this and why I wanted more of a shielded antenna. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. Alright, kind of paying me over here to my stereo system. Okay, you guys and girls love this old system and you've seen it before. And it's an awesome unit. Alright, this antenna is not shielded. This is not shielded. This uh, box, homemade uh, stanchion box I made here, is not a shielded box. Okay. Uh, this wiring right here is shielded, but not shielded enough to keep some of the stack off of my radio. But what is stack basically? Now, if you want to listen to stack. Let me unplug the antenna wiring from the back of my stereo here. This is something you're going to be interested in. New lesson. Fucking stack. That's something I do not want. That's something I do not want on my stereo equipment. That's the reason why I chose this antenna. And it's up here. And it works very good for what I need it for. Alright, if you guys and girls are buying this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out, bye guys and girls. We'll hopefully see you in the future next vlog. Catch you later. And have fun with your own radios.